the release of the iPhone 14 lineup is just around the corner. And with this latest release, Apple might just be fixing its biggest criticism of all time. Yes, you've heard it right. According to the latest design leaks, Apple is finally getting rid of the camera notch in the upcoming iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. The notch will now be replaced by a new pill-shaped design that will be available on the Pro model only. However, there are some major upgrades that a lot of Apple fans might be missing out on. The Face ID notch that was introduced back in 2017 with the iPhone X is finally retiring, and Apple is introducing the pill-shaped notch which will cover less of the screen. Unfortunately, for the non-Pro models, Apple is still sticking with the camera notch. For the iPhone 14 lineup, Apple is skipping out on the iPhone 14 mini this year, which will be replaced with the iPhone 14 Max. Now, this model will carry on similar features of the iPhone 14, but with a bigger screen and battery. Now, coming to the biggest upgrade in terms of performance. Apple is all set to launch its highly anticipated A16 Bionic chip for the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max, which will give the phone a significant bump in terms of GPU, CPU, and battery performance. With the new A16 Bionic chip, Apple is all set to crush its competition in terms of performance, user experience, and battery efficiency. The A16 would effectively utilize the GPU, allowing it to perform 35% better than the already fast iPhone 13 lineup with the A15 chip. Coming to the CPU performance, A16 is most likely to increase the CPU performance by 42% as per the beta testing. However, the next leak might disappoint a lot of you as the A16 Bionic chip will only be available in the Pro models, i.e. the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. Along with the A16 Bionic, the Pro models will also have 8 gigs of RAM. Unfortunately, the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Max will have the same A15 Bionic chip featured in the iPhone 13 lineup. Another major upgrade we're expecting with the new iPhone 14 is an all-new design. According to recent design leaks, Apple is ditching the camera bump with the iPhone 14 and is now going for an iPhone 4 and 12 inspired design. The phone would have slightly thicker sides made out of titanium alloy to increase its durability. These thicker sides can hide the protruding camera bump we see on the iPhone 13. The exterior of the iPhone 14 lineup might look similar to that of the iPhone 4, but with added design features. As far as colors are considered, Apple will be launching a new color-shifting purple version of the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro Max to make them more distinguishable and attractive. The iPhone 14 and 14 Max might launch with a slightly different shade of purple. Apart from that, the iPhone 14 lineup will be available in standard white, black, blue, and red colors. For the display, Apple is launching a new 6.1-inch LTPS OLED display for the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro whereas the iPhone 14 Max and the Pro Max will feature a 6.7-inch LTPS OLED display. Now, for the Pro models, Apple is continuing with the Pro Motion that will give the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max 120Hz ultra-smooth display. Unfortunately, we won't be getting Pro Motion on the more budget-friendly iPhone 14 and 14 Max. Now, due to the pill-shaped design and slimmer bezels in the Pro models, the aspect ratio will be increased from 19.5 by 9 to 20 by 9. Another great feature we're expecting this year with the iPhone 14 is the always-on display, which Apple was lacking for years. Now, coming to the most controversial aspect of the iPhone series, the battery. The iPhone 14 and 14 Pro will feature a 3,115 mAh battery, whereas iPhone 14 Max and 14 Pro Max will have a 3,687 mAh battery. This might not sound enough. But due to the A16 Bionic chip in the Pro models, the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max could last up to two hours more than previous models. Seems like Apple has finally decided to lead the all-rounder league. The iPhone 14 lineup will be coming with iOS 16, which has seen some crazy new features to offer what we're missing in the iPhones for a while. Now, the highlight of iOS 16 would be the lock screen customization and widgets. With iOS 16, you'll now be able to customize how your lock screen looks according to your own preference. You can add multiple pictures to your screen in shuffle and can change the fonts and themes according to your own tastes. Now, just like iOS 15 had widgets for the home screen, iOS 16 will have new widgets for lock screens as well. Just like every year, Apple will be launching new wallpapers in iOS 16 with new and improved live wallpapers. The ability to edit messages after sending them has been rumored to be the iPhone's newest feature. This simple yet very effective trait of the iOS 16 can save you in a lot of situations. You can easily correct your mistakes in messages long after sending them. Due to the improved AI, 
You can now extract text live from videos by simply pausing and holding down the text. Talk about taking features to a whole new dimension. However, that's not all. iOS 16 will allow live currency conversion through the camera app. You'll be able to share photographs and videos from your iPhone through the iCloud photo sharing feature in iOS 16. Apple Pay has also been upgraded with Apple Pay's new Apple Pay Later feature. You can now pay for your purchases in four simple installments. Lastly, the notifications are now stacked in order of preference, and they now appear from the bottom instead of the top. Now, let's come to the update you were probably the most excited about, the camera. Apple is still going forward with a three-camera setup on the Pro models and two-camera setup on the non-Pro models. However, with the Pro models, Apple is launching an all-new 48-megapixel main camera with a bigger camera sensor. The bigger sensor will increase the low-light performance and take more crisp photos and videos. The ultra-wide camera will have significant improvement in low-light performance and will not be restricted to just the Pro models. With iPhone 14, Apple is finally upgrading the front-facing camera of iPhones, which haven't seen some serious upgrades for a while. The front-facing camera will now have continuous autofocus instead of fixed focus along with an increased lens aperture from f2.2 to f1.9, which will notably increase its low-light performance. The five-part lenses on previous models are going to be replaced by six-part lenses, which will give you an overall brighter and sharper selfie and video. Now, ever since the iPhone 13 was launched, we were hearing rumors that Apple is working on its 5G modem, and it was rumored to release with iPhone 14. But sadly, it's still in the works and will be released next year with the iPhone 15. The iPhone 14 lineup will be 5G ready. However, they will lack the Qualcomm 5G modem and Apple's 5G modem. The iPhone 14 will most likely have a satellite connection through which you could send emergency text messages to your emergency contacts without any cellular network. Now, these crazy new features and upgrades come at a higher price. And unfortunately, this time, Apple did not hold back on the price as all the versions except for the iPhone 14 are going to experience a significant price increase. The iPhone 14 Max, which will be replacing iPhone mini, is expected to launch with a price of either $899 or $999. Whereas for the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max, we can expect a $100 hike from the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max prices. Now, due to these premium prices, the iPhone 14 lineup will probably be Apple's highest priced iPhone lineup until now. Now, the Apple launch event for the iPhone 14 lineup is expected to happen on the 13th of September, 2022. And in the keynote speech, they'll be announcing the iPhone 14 lineup with their specifications and prices. The iPhone 14 models will be available for purchase in a week or two after their release. Lastly, let's address the elephant in the room. Will iPhone 14 use USB-C instead of the Lightning port? No, the iPhone 14 lineup will have the Lightning port as its charging port. Now, the shift to a USB-C port is expected to happen with the iPhone 15 lineup. Now, these were some of the key leaks from the upcoming iPhone 14 lineup. Let us know in the comments what you think about the upgrades and whether you're excited about the phone or not. Now, while you're on the way down, do give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a good day.